You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have knowledge for knowledge for life. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have knowledge for knowledge for life. You gotta have it. You gotta have it. You gotta have knowledge. You know what, brothers and sisters, I want to thank you all for coming out here uh, and being a part of this lecture series. For me, of course, I believe that this lecture series is one of the most important parts of the African American Cultural Festival because knowledge is power. And so we have uh, next a brother who can talk to talk and walk to walk. He's a motivational speaker and preacher. Um, and he talks on physical health, which you'll see when he comes up here. So please give me, a, give him a warm round of applause, brother R. D. Caldwell. Let's give our brother a round of applause. You can come on up the stage, my brother. And we go. Uh, well, I got the mic, so it'll, yeah, so it'll be showing him up this way. All right. Health is wealth, brothers and sisters. So let's. Pay close attention to what our brother has to say. Greetings, greetings, peace and blessings to you all. I hope everyone is well today. My topic at hand is your health is your responsibility. Nobody is going to take care of you but you. So the way I like to say it is you need to have future forward thinking. You need to think about where you're going to be 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Because your health not only affects you, but it affects everyone around you. So if you think you need a paradigm shift, if you think with future forward thinking, you do not want to be a burden to your spouse, to your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your children. And I hope no one in here wants to be stuck in a nursing home relying on strangers to take care of you. So my prayer is that this speech will inform you motivate you and inspire you to make better decisions about your health because your health is your responsibility. Nobody's going to take care of you but you. At any point in time during this speech, if you have a question, please stand up, raise your hand, and ask it because I'm here to provide information, motivation, and inspiration to you so you can make the change today. Do not put off until tomorrow what can get done today because your decisions today will affect your tomorrow. So I come to talk to you about exercise is my topic. If they could take exercise and put it in a pill, it would be the most powerful drug ever created. That's right. Because of the just tremendous amount of benefits of exercise. Scientists and researchers are now proving the, the mental benefits of exercise. Exercising actually increases your brain capacity. So the more that you exercise, you increase your ability to learn. Exercise improves focus. So now we're looking at the body in totality, mind, body, and spirit. Exercise improves your ability to overcome challenges because a lot of people have an aversion to exercise. How many people in here are scared? Like, it's gonna hurt. It's, come on, y'all be honest with me. Thank you, sir, I appreciate your honesty. A lot of people have an aversion to exercise because they associate exercise with pain. But not all pain is bad, just like not all pleasure is good. Some people chase the pleasure to get high off of drugs. That's not a good pleasure. So the pain of exercise is beneficial. Again, having future forward thinking, if I can overcome this temporary pain right now, I will reap the benefits later. So that pain actually builds your own mental fortitude and your grit, and it helps develop strength as a person. 
So you have to look at it as holistic development. You're developing your mind, you're developing your body, you're developing your spirit. So every time you exercise, you actually feel better. You get a release of endorphins. So you're like, oh, even though I got all sweaty and stanky, now I feel better about myself. Because I accomplished something that initially, you maybe you didn't think you could do it, but you got it done. So that's why I recommend, ideally, if you can get up early, which means you gotta go to bed a little bit earlier, so you can't be on your phone like this at night in the bed scrolling, cause you gotta get some sleep. Then you can get your butt up earlier in the morning and develop some type of exercise routine. Notice I said routine. You need to incorporate exercise into your daily routine. So you don't have to do it every day, but if someone's just getting started, how about twice a week? Pick your day, Tuesday, Thursday, I'm gonna exercise. 20 minutes. If you've never done anything, you do not have to go for a five mile run. You don't. Something is better than nothing. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. I don't care what you believe in, but God divinely created us and we were made to move. You have to move this body. I need some audience participation. If I have a room in my house, let's say my living room, and I just leave it alone, I never go in there, what happens? It gets dusty. It gets dusty, and I'm like, I don't even go in the room. Why is the room getting dusty? Ain't nobody in there, I ain't messing with it, it's dusty. The same thing happens to your body, just like a car. If you have a car and you let it sit and you never drive it, the car won't start anymore. Your bodies are designed the same way. If you do not move your body, your body will degrade, it will break down, and it will decay. A lot of these illnesses and diseases that we are experiencing, particularly in our community, can be prevented if we would just exercise. Get you an accountability partner. Girl, we going to the gym today. But I don't feel like it. Girl, come on, we got we got to get this exercise in. We, it's summertime now. Y'all wanted to be summertime, fine. That started in the winter, but it's okay. It ain't too late to get started. I don't care about how old you are. I don't care what's going on in your body. Do what you can do. Do something consistently over time and you will reap the benefits. Look at it as an investment. You are making deposits into your health account. Just like your savings account, everybody wanna have some money in there, you wanna look in there like, I got some ch change in there. You want to have deposits into your health account so you'll feel better. You will improve your quality of life. You will have the strength to get on and get through and push through, mentally, physically, and spiritually. Exercise affects every single part of you. How many people are hip to the new, the new CBD oil thing? You know, everybody's smoking weed, wanna get high, you know. I know some people that smoke. I'm not gonna speak for or against it. My point is, the body has natural cannabinoid receptors in it. That if you exercise, you will get an endorphin rush. You'll feel high. You'll feel good. You will increase your serotonin. You will increase dopamine. Exercise is the best antidepressant ever created. People that are struggling with depression, energy is created. You have to create energy. You have to get up and move your body. You have to create a paradigm shift. It starts in the mind. I'm going to get myself up out of this funk. I'm going to get moving. I'm going to get outside and experience the sun. We have this melanin in our bodies. We need to get out and get this melanin popping. We need to get out and experience nature. Just take a walk. Go out into the park. Get your accountability partner. You all hold each other accountable. Get the body movement, play basketball, tennis, volleyball, softball, whatever you like to do, make it enjoyable. The other thing that you have to do is, you have to do some form of resistance training. If you do not use your muscles and build them up, they will break down and the body will get weaker over time. But you have the ability to strengthen your body but your body, your health, is your responsibility. It's up to you, nobody's gonna do it for you. You have to take action and wanna do something for yourself to improve your quality of life. 
as a personal trainer, everyone that I work with, whether they've ever exercised or not, once they start exercising, I feel better. My quality of sleep is better. I can do my job a lot easier because now I have more energy. Once you start exercising, a lot of other things in your life will line up. Everything will get in alignment because you're working on your body, you're working towards something. You set a goal, now you wanna reach it. So now you're moving with a purpose. Whether it's you wanna lose weight, you wanna get healthier, you wanna look better, you wanna get into uh, you know those clothes that's in the closet that you can't fit anymore, that one outfit that you got, those pair of jeans that you bought that you could never put on because they were too small. Exercise so you can do it. Then you start exercising, you have to eat right. You have, okay. I'm not gonna talk about nutrition. You gonna talk about nutrition, right? She's next. But you cannot outwork a bad diet. So I'm gonna leave the nutrition part to my sister. But you cannot outwork a bad diet. Exercise is an inside job. It works from the inside out. You didn't gain weight overnight, Please don't expect to lose it overnight. You must be patient with the process. You must be patient with the process. I've been exercising for three weeks and I... Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's right. The results, just like anything else in life, the results will accumulate over time. Right. Don't fear exercise. The pain that you experience through exercise is temporary. And each time you go, your body will adapt to it. All exercise is, is an adaptation to stress. I'll tell you, I have a client, I'll, I'll put a weight on there, I'll say, do this. How many times you want me to do it? Just, just start doing it. And they start, and it, and it starts burning, and they can feel the burn, and they feel the pain, and I say, keep going, keep going. Give me five, when they think they can't do any more, I say give me five more. Give me five more. When they get that five more, do you know how, how much that builds a person's self-esteem? Where they feel accomplished because they have the ability, exercise allows you to develop the ability to push past your pain barrier. Once you strengthen the ability to push past your pain barrier, imagine the carryover that that has into your life. You will have the ability to push past obstacles, to overcome those things that are coming against you because you've developed physical strength, which automatically translate into mental strength. But you gotta do it. That's right. I can stand up here and make you stand on chairs and do jumping jacks. If you don't take anything with you, you should want to live a better life. That's right. You should want to be a better person. Right. That's what exercise does. If you have a purpose, a passion to help uplift the community, you can't help nobody if you're sick. Right. Right. You can't help the community. You can't be a positive influence on the community if you're debilitated. So I want to encourage everyone, and then you spread this message. Say, I heard this little short, muscular, light-skinned brother talking about exercise today. <laughs> we all need to exercise and get healthier. Right. It's our responsibility to, to encourage each other to take better care of ourselves. Right. It doesn't make any sense for us to have the genetics that we do, and we all should be looking good. Yes, Every right. single one of us should be looking good. That's right. And with our ancestors, everything that we've been through, there's no excuse. Right, right, there is right. no excuse. Right. We are a powerful people. Us melanated people, we are a powerful people. So if you can say you can't do it, I don't want to hear it. Uh, you ain't with your, uh, we ain't even on the same team. We can do anything. We are overcomers. So what I want you to do is just make a commitment to accepting every step in the process. So just don't say, I want to lose 20 pounds. Say, I'm going to make a commitment to exercise twice a week for 20 minutes. All right. So now you're embracing the steps in the process. I'm going to make a commitment to exercise twice a week for 20 minutes. Do that consistently for a month. Then the next month, challenge yourself. I'm going to do twice a week for 30 minutes. Right. Because exercise has to be increased over time because your body will adapt. 
Exercise is an adaptation to stress. The body will strengthen itself to prepare for the next time you put it through exercise. Encourage your children to exercise. Scientists did a study with kids with di diagnosed with ADHD. They put them on an exercise program. They immediately increase their ability to focus. Immediately. The effects were immediate. Exercise is so, so very important and valuable to each individual for your quality of life, for your health, for feeling better, for doing better, for being better, for having the ability to make it through your day and be more productive. When you exercise, you can get a whole lot more done because you've created more energy. Energy is created. So many people say, ah, I feel tired and uh, sluggish. Take a 10 minute walk. It will rejuvenate and reinvigorate you. A lot of people, we default to taking a nap. Oh, I'm tired, I, I just need to take a nap. No, you need to move. <laughs> Because if you get up and move, you will generate, you will create energy. But you have to move your body. These bodies were designed for movement. You can do a whole lot more than what you think you can. How much time do I have, my brother? Five minutes. Okay, I would like to take questions to close out. Any questions? Somebody, anybody, ask me something. <laughs> No questions about exercise? I got a question. Yes, sir. Water, how, how important is it? And, and is it, can you drink too much? Yes, you can, you can overdo anything. But water is very, very important. The brain, I talk about the mind a lot, is 82% water. So a lot of people that struggle with things, fatigue and memory loss and different things of that nature, a lot of times they're just simply dehydrated. So hydration is extremely important. You're supposed to drink about, um, it's your body weight divided by two is the amount of ounces per day. But if you exercise and you sweat, sweating is good. Sweating, sweating releases toxins. Right. Sweating is a purifier. Sweating is how your body eliminates one of the channels of, to eliminate toxins. So you need to move and you need to sweat and you need to make sure you drink plenty of water. That's the main thing that I recommend people drink. Just drink water. Just drink water. Now, after you work out and your body is uh, feeling sore, what's some of the best uh, foods or whatever to, to help your body regenerate? You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Um, well, after that, ideally, you want to eat a, I think, I don't want to go too far in nutrition. I can let you handle that. But the bottom line is, I believe everybody agrees you got to eat a lot of vegetables. You need to include some fruits. And people have differences of opinion on this. I believe in eating grass-fed beef for the protein. But the bottom line is, you are what you eat and whatever it ate. So I have a problem with conventionally raised animals where the cows are fed grain and corn and soy that's been genetically modified because it makes the animals sick. So the farmers have to put them on antibiotics and their head is in a feed lot like this. So they shoot them up with hormones to make them grow. But I actually have a farmer that I know personally, been to the farm, seen the animals. They're out like this in a pasture roaming around and they eat what they're supposed to eat. Um, so I believe in, in particular animal products, I'm not going to say all, but definitely a lot of wide variety of fruits and vegetables as well, because you have to fuel the body properly. You can't eat junk and expect to be productive. It just, it doesn't work that way. Anybody? I got one last question. Absolutely. Starting off, what's the best way, if I'm just an individual, what's What's one of the best way for me to get into, you know, exercising? Just start walking. Literally, most people do not walk enough. And I mean, just go to the park, park further. If you're going to a store or something, park at the very end of the parking lot. And you have to find little ways. Take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. 
we're a society and we've become a culture just enslaved to convenience. We want the fastest, shortest, how quick can I get it? No, faster is not always better. Sometimes we need to slow down, take a break, take our time, just get moving. Walking, and also you have to lift weights. You have to do some form of resistance training to help strengthen not only the muscles, but also the tendons, ligaments, and the bones as well. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Any other questions? How many days do I recommend working out? Initially, if somebody's never exercised before, at least two times a week. So whether that's like a Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday, whatever you decide, initially start with about two days, about 20 minutes, because that's usually all a person can handle initially. Then you increase that as your body adapts to it. Once that, like that's too easy, then you add on time. Then you do 30 minutes. Then like, okay, I'm getting in the groove of this and take it month by month. Do that for three weeks then 30 minutes for three weeks, then add a day. So now you're doing three days, right, for three weeks. But then once you get to a certain point, you need rest days. So no more than five or six days a week, at least with one day off, one to two days off, always. Come on, say it again. Two questions. What's the secret or what's the I heard the part about squats. Can you? Yeah. Ask how you do a perfect squat. How you do a perfect squat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Squatting. Squatting is one of the best exercises that you can do. Everybody's seen a little baby, right? A little baby does like this. If a baby wants to get something off the ground, they do like this. Babies. We used to congregate together like this. We used to eat like this. We used to talk like this. We have lost this ability because we've become lazy. So you lose the flexibility in your body unless you use it. This is a perfect squat. Not this, this. Full range of motion. The body was created to go through a full range of motion. All the way down, all the way back up. But, go ahead. No, no, I ain't wanna cut you off, go ahead. Well, you have to work on it, because most people can't do that anymore. You should be able to be an elder and do this. If we look at ancient cultures, tribes, our ancestors, everybody was like this. Young and old alike. Now people, I can't. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Squats. Gotta squat. Gotta sit down. We good? Oh, what's the what's the good core exercise? Crunches, sit ups, anything where you're bringing your rib cage towards your pelvis, so you can lay on the floor and do sit ups. You can do crunches. You can do leg raises. Anything where you take your rib cage and you put it towards your pelvis. So any movement like this will help work the abdominal region. Oh, the Greater Day Recreation Center on 3rd Street, it's only $3 a day for a daily drop-in fee. They have uh, one-month passes are $10, and it's only $85 for the entire year. So there's something within our community that everybody's welcome to come to. So we need to just eliminate the excuses, make the commitment today to take care of yourself. Your health is re your responsibility. I thank you all for your time. Let's give it up one more time for our brother, Brother Hardy, Paul Will. Very powerful, very powerful.